So this is going to be a sort of telling about the mysterious thing with my alarm clock, the short video I posted yesterday, and how angels sometimes can point out things in a very different way than we are expecting, and also some questions. Uh, I've received quite a lot of questions. Uh, the comments are weird on this phone. I still keep to be getting from over a half a year ago that when I answered all the questions here and if I haven't got any uh, comments then suddenly some very old pops up that I haven't answered and I've been searching on this phone and I can't find them there is no place for unanswered comments so they just keep on popping up and that was why I talked about prayer apps in many cases when working with manuscripts. And, and I used the Anglican prayer app, the Orthodox and the Catholic. I've been trying different. And, and I remember there was a Hebrew uh, praying app, but in English that I tried. But my Bible didn't really match up to that, so... That's why I didn't. Otherwise, I love the Hebrew Bible and would like to use that. I got the Hebrew Psalms and they all have different verses. So when I want to read, uh, I have the Torah, but I lack the other books uh, in English. And so I have to go to Bible Hub and look under Hebrew Bible. You can choose of all the Bibles printed in the world, which one you want to use. I read out the whole sections there and find prayers, um, some verses and other. And, <laughs> and of course, you can use it to read the whole Bible too. Uh, but there's been something that I've felt when I'm doing my own rituals, especially when the seasons change, as you have like in um, Turkey, Goetia, uh, you have the angels of the seasons, the spring, the winter, the summer, and so on. And if you follow the church, uh, the old apps, uh, all the old books that are in the apps, they pray the hours. You had maybe seven prayers for a day, and or usually five or something. And then you have for every day of the week, and then you have for the month and then you have the seasons and then you have the special ones for days of celebration and also the rites that are needed sadly in our lives and so that is a very helpful tool and if you look at Theurgia Goetia it is just how you call upon and then it goes silent it doesn't show you how to get it work in a flow since you call on the archangels, the angels of the seasons, the, the angels of the hour, and that kind of thing. And when you put in those prayers in between, depending on what time you are performing the rituals, you have prayers for midnight, prayers at three o'clock and so on. And that fills out and the ritual suddenly goes with the flow. And uh, the old magicians, they knew this. They learned often to memorize the Bible by heart, many of them. They didn't have other books to read in most cases, so they knew it really well. So I guess that is why they didn't write it out, since everybody knew that everybody had to go to church if they lived in certain places. And that was part of school teaching as well, and education to learn the Bible. So they all knew that, and I've been trying to find out what they knew. So that was that, and now to the magic of my alarm clock last night. Uh, yesterday at 5.15.42, uh, or uh, eight minutes before four in the afternoon. And this was fun. As many as you know, you have received my weird comments and DMs. Uh, what time is it in your country? Can you answer me exactly right now what time your clock shows when they ask me to do a ritual for them? And then I say, oh, I got one hour left. 
uh, or it will take uh, 30 minutes for me and then I can do the ritual so we get the timing right when I put uh, take out all the candles and things and put them in order and incense and and this was the alarm clock yesterday it has never done this before and then my lights were flicking on and off and suddenly I got it last night I laughed so hard so I couldn't sleep last night so I took a nap uh, in the morning instead. It is, I have a very dear friend and the angels asked me that she will be with when I start the Nokia ritual for ACL. And I've been trying to work out how to calculate the sun hours and um, so on for her. And well, and of course, when I have daylight saving hours and you move the clock one hour forward or backwards and that kind of thing and then when you live on different continent it changes and you have very many time zones in a continent. And in the end I was trying so desperately I even uh, message to the airport trying to ask what kind of planes flies there and what time will they arrive if we go uh, and what time is this that way and it didn't really work out since, uh, uh, since I didn't have all details. So the time that started blinking so weirdly in the alarm clock it has never done that and it was that that we were waiting for her upload of the video dear friend. So we were many in the living room and they, I was making tea for all of us to watch the video as we come and sit here many. It's so happening here that uh, they come and watch her videos on my uh, TV since I put to YouTube and my, since I have no cable or fiber I got that new thing. So they watch it on there and um, they were screaming, they, oh, this is crazy, lights are flickering, and I came in and then I just took a photo of the phone. And that was actually the angels telling me, oh, you nutty old bag. Just ask her what time she schedules her videos on and uploads them since it's on schedule. And you will have the answer since it's always at the same time during this part of the year until we move our clock next time since then it will be to a different hour for us but right now the time she uploads that's the time we can compare to so i laughed so hard it was so magical and it was also so kind of the angels to show that way since the next upcoming ritual is the 9th of February when I have the uh, new moon. And uh, that will be calling on Archangel Raziel and Hokna. So, and he wants her there. So this was a show of how they interact with this world. And, and I didn't feel anything bad. Uh, since sometimes when lights flicker and a door slam, that kind of is always demonic. But here it was a light feeling when it happened. That's why I sounded so happy. But what is wrong with the clock? This is magic. So, so that was the joyful thing. That that was a message from the angels. Hey, we have tried to tell you: don't overthink it. Don't calculate. And relax, we are showing you. <laughs> and that was exactly what happened. And I just felt so much love in my heart. And it can be so simple and sometimes I just don't get it. And since I am a thinker and I calculate things and have done it for years and they showed this is the way. And it can be so simple and... I can't understand it when it's simple. So <laughs> a pride, my pride took a turn there and that is good since you need to be humble. But there is so much joy with working with the angels and, and that it caught on camera. That surprised me since angels usually don't show anything on. But this was maybe meant to be a joyful thought to all of us that the signs can come in. 
that things are acting weirdly when we feel good about it and then just, ah, this is what they are trying to tell me. So, I hope that you will leave any request for any rituals, uh, whatever you need or, since I will be creating more rituals with the, all the angels and then we have their requests for the upcoming new moon ritual with Raziel and Hokma. So I hope that you will leave a lot of comments since every time when I pray, especially when I get comments in the night, I ask them in my midnight prayer and the rest in the morning prayer and the angels comes and uh, starts pushing me, take this angel, this angel, and I so love doing it. So please keep on leaving comments of what you need so I can present them to the angels and then we can create videos together, all of us involved together. Have a magical, magical day. I love you all. Bye for now.